Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and it is a blessing to be with you this morning. As a follower of Jesus Christ, that means you have placed your faith and trust in Jesus. He is the Lord of your life. As his followers, the Bible is full of God's promises for you and I because of the covenant that he made long ago with Abraham. But it's in the times of pain and suffering when we feel as if God isn't making good on his promises. You may have thought or even said, where are you, God? Don't you hear my cries? Don't you see what I'm going through? Don't you care about my suffering? God not only sees and hears our suffering, but He cares. And let me say that again. He cares about our suffering, and God always makes good on His promises. Listen to what it says in Exodus chapter 2, verses 23 through 25. It says this, During those many days the king of Egypt died, and the people of Israel groaned because of their slavery, and cried out for help. Their cry for rescue from slavery came up to God, and God heard their groaning, and God remembered His covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. God saw the people of Israel, and God knew. The children of Israel probably thought that God had forgotten about their pain and suffering. They probably thought that God would, wouldn't make good on His promises to deliver them. But because God made a covenant, He stands by His word. He stands by His promise promises. You may be feeling at times that God has forgotten about your pain and suffering, but He hasn't because He's a promise keeper. He hears you and He sees you. This is why He sent His Son Jesus to suffer and die on the cross for our sin, to be our deliverer and redeemer. You see, suffering is a part of this fallen world, and Jesus promises that one day there will be no more pain and suffering. That day is when we are with Him in heaven. Until then, Jesus promises to be our pain redeemer by holding on and standing firm on His Word. This is why we have the Bible, so that we can remember that God does make good on His promises. Promises like Hebrews 13, 5. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Then we have Romans 5, 3 through 5. But we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Whatever you may be going through today, you can be sure of God's promises, because we have a Father who not only sees us, hears us, but who truly cares about our suffering. God bless you and have a wonderful day.